Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over string formatting. So in order to format a string or specific parts of a string, we'll use the format method which we'll show later. So first we need to have a string to format. So let's say we have a string called str and it's equal to the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And let's say that we want to format fox, right? So we don't want this to be fox, we want it to be any string or any number that we want. So what we can do is we can either create a new variable and we can say that it's fox or we can and then we can just we can just format it like this or we can directly format it here with any custom string so we could have rabbit so we could replace this little placeholder which is going to be formatted with the string rabbit so as you can see our string is now formatted and we have rabbit here instead of the placeholder now if we want fox to be in that position then we just put the insert string which is equal to fox and it says a quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now this is the most basic method. Uh, let's say that we want to replace multiple items in a string. So then we would have two placeholders and we know where these placeholders are. And so suppose that we want to just directly insert the strings using like a one line statement then all we would do is just say the quick brown frog, right? Remember these can be anything, jumps over the lazy dog. And so when you are having multiple placeholders in a format method, you are separating them with a comma and a space. So as you can see, we have our desired output. We can also replace this with a number. So we just have 30, then it says 30 over there. So let's, that's pretty much it for re replacing multiple or formatting multiple values. Um, suppose that we want to put numbers with a very specific uh, dec decimal point that we want. Right, so let's say that we have this little chunk of code. Um, so we have our two placeholders, right? So we already know that we're replacing, we're formatting two placeholders. We're replacing them with hamburger and amazing, right? So it would say this hamburger is so amazing. Um, and then here, this is something we haven't seen before. It's a colon and then a period and then two F. So this, this F stands for float, and it's just saying how many float uh, decimals or how many floats that we want. So in this case, it's two. So we would want two decimal points after, or, or we would want to round or add two decimal points to whatever this number has. So in this case, this number doesn't have any decimal points at all. So when we run this, we'll have this hamburger is so amazing as we expected and then it'll say and it only costs 29.00 dollars now this is this happens because we want two decimal points and this price value doesn't have any decimal points at all so suppose that we put 50 right here now since we already have two decimal points it will not do anything to the string and it'll just, uh, I mean the, sorry, the value and it will just print it out as it is. If we add a few more numbers, you'll see that it cuts it off at two, two decimal points. Now what if we made this 5084? As you can see, it rounds it up. So it just follows the rounding Right, so it'll round to the hundreds place here because we want two decimal places. 
and it'll round using the most rightmost digit. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, something else that we should you should know is formatting with ind indices. So in order to format with an index, uh, it's it can seem a little useless at first, but suppose that we have this chunk of code here. Um, so we have 0, 1, and 2. Now 2 might seem a little bit tricky, but just know that it's what we saw in our previous example, right? Rounding to two decimal places, but we also need an index because we have index 0, index 1, and index 2. So this is our third value or our second index. So. At first, it might seem pointless, and we might want to just use our regular method, which will give us the same output. So we have, I want three pieces of an item number 567 for $49.00 dollars here, right? That's, that, was our old, uh, that was our old code segment with the index numbers. Now, if we run it without the indexes, it gives us the exact same output because we have it in the exact same order. Now suppose that we want to use a only one number, right? So let's say we only want to use quantity. What's interesting with the indexes is you, you can reuse them. So say I want three pieces of item number three for forty nine dollars. As you can see, that's how it comes out. And so that's what's interesting about formatting with indexes is you can reuse values, which makes it pretty useful. The final, uh, the final thing to do with indexes and formatting is using variables inside or declaring variables inside of the format method. So as you can see here, uh, we're actually putting in variable names into the format method, I mean the formatting, the string that we're formatting. So this one has a car name value and a model variable. And what we're actually doing is we're declaring these variables inside of the format method. So car name is going to be equal to Ford and model is going to be equal to Mustang. Now you could probably guess what this is going to output, but we're going to print it. So I have a Ford. It is a Mustang. It's outputting this because our car name is equal to Ford, and this placeholder right here is being replaced with whatever car name is equal to, and that's Ford. And that's the exact same thing that's going on right here. Let's say that we want to replace this with just car name as well. Now we have, I have a Ford, it is a Ford. Pretty straightforward. So we can use the same uh, principle that we use with the indexes. With the variable declaration format, we can reuse the variables as well. So that's all for string formatting, and thank you for watching this video.